Hey, Jeff Adams here with Terra Sophia based out of Moab, Utah, here to talk about a low tech erosion control project on the greater Fremont Plateau in Western Utah. So the issue here was we had a wet meadow type of wet shrubland area occupying the valley bottom here, which has then become incised through a series of gullies coming in and converging down here. There's actually three of them coming from different branches and then feeding down into a stock pond down here. And so that was kind of the baseline issue we were dealing with. Um, we got in there, we, we came upon the, uh, they previously had some great work done, some one rock dams and you can see the um, impacts of the one rock dams. Then they finally got a flow. We got some debris racking. It caught some organic debris up on these rocks. If you look closely, there's a lot of fine material and vegetation growing on this upset uphill side. We had a little bit of scouring on the downhill as that water flow comes in this direction, pools up to a certain degree behind the rocks and then spills over. Um, we also found that there are a couple points of concern. We had some bank exposure here that was starting to get eroded and it's not quite evident in this picture but also up on this side under that vegetation and so it was a great learning experience we got to see a lot that was was there and then we um you know did some more assessment we found this similar uh issue on on these structures where there's uh a lot of um impact from the rock structures but then we're having this vegetation that's barely holding on. You can kind of see the shrub there. We've got some wraparound going here and similar up on on this picture where these structures were an awesome first go and that's why a lot of times we either need to build things really big and robust or we need to plan to do some follow-up extensions and additions to them after we see how they perform in each flow. And so um, that shrub from the upper part of that last picture was here and what we came in and did was um, dramatically expand the rock work to really tie it up into the high banks of this channel. And so we really put it so that that water, the next time it flows, would get at least up to there within the channel back up a lot and ideally we were put wanting to push it out on both sides out to that former uh, wetted surface and we so we built these structures big enough to achieve those elevations and um, and then we were fortunate that that very night it rained it was a big downpour we actually got to see the the structures flow and uh, if you could really see in this picture the wetted area now is well out beyond that original channel. If, if we could kind of redraw that original channel, all that water was moving through a very narrow band very quickly out of the system. Um, and now with this structure, we're able to push that water out onto the banks and hold a lot more of it in the landscape. And so here is the shot after the day after the storm, we can see that, that we've got pooling in quite a few different places. We've got uh, behind a lot of our different structures, we've got pools of different sizes and that's all water that's now held in the landscape so that it can soak in, support vegetation, support wildlife and help have a healthier watershed. I love this, Jeff. It's it has so much connectivity to it. There's there's so many different factors to it. You've come back to this site after somebody else already did the work, and yet you can still go in and correct. And I think that's one of the hallmarks of this work of low tech erosion control is that it's actually really easy to add a little bit more. Uh, it's easy to amend. It's easy to fix. Am I getting that right, or or is that just, you just make it look easy? Is that what's no, absolutely. Here? That's one of the wonderful things of it is like when you can come back to it is you get a flow event, you get some deposition and then you put the next lift on and you expand it out the sides a little bit and you just 
keep fitting it to to the the land surface and fitting it to the flows that you have um, and that's that's one of the great ways to just get going on it knowing that as long as you're willing to keep an eye on it and add to it and maintain it and tweak it as you get that feedback from the rain events um, you can keep growing and evolving your treatments amazing amazing it's it has so much connectivity to the landscape and Again, and I think we've said this before in the other case studies, it really does fit in the landscape. You'd have to know what you were looking for to see it and go, oh yeah, somebody has been here, somebody's been working on this. And it just, it, it comes in so effortly. When you take a look at the job like this after you finish, what's your sense of the flywheel that you started? Is this an ecological situation that you're expecting will continue to have sedimentation and continue to in increase vegetation? Or, or what's your prediction after a project like this? Yeah, for this, especially seeing the water holding and the sediment deposition that had occurred as we got there and from the, the we actually got to see the system flow twice in the matter of a week. It was, it was awesome. And we got that immediate feedback. There was sedimentation, there was um, water holding, and that sets the stages to get more vegetation growing. And, you know, there were already signs of, of some recruitment from the previous treatments. And I'm, I would expect in the years to come, we'd see more recruitment come in there because there's more nutrients, organic matter, seeds, and water being held in the landscape. Fantastic. Thanks so much, Jeff, for sharing uh, this, this amazing case study. And for anybody who's interested, you may wanna check out the upcoming course with Jeffrey Adams and Neil Bertrando called Low Tech Erosion Control on regenerativeliving.online. It'll be coming in the new year, and if you're watching this in years to come, there's a canned version of the course, perennial version of the course, if you want to check it out. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you later.